Hello everyone, my name is Bonji Batoon and I'm a nurse anesthetist specializing in trauma, anesthesia, and critical care. And what I want to talk to you guys about today is upsizing current or uh, vascular access that you've established yourself. And so these are the components that we're going to work with. We have a simulated blood vessel, 18 gauge angiocatheter, a 14 gauge angiocatheter, a micropuncture dilator, and a micropuncture wire. These things were obtained from this kind of kit, a micropuncture um, introducer set. Like I said, these are the important parts. The wire itself, which is 0 0.08 inches, and the 5 French dilator. And this is what I took out of the kit. And so this can, technique can be used either for um, rewiring an existing IV, or if you start an, if exist, uh, start an IV like I'm going to do right now. And so before I start, the things that you want to do is you want to make sure that you um, load your 14 gauge angiocatheter onto your micropuncture dilator. And so interesting enough, through experimentation, I actually found out that this 14 gauge angiocatheter slides over perfectly and fits perfectly over this dilator. And you can see right here, there's actually a very smooth transition from the dilator to the angiocath. And this is what facilitates the passage of this dilator and angiocath over the wire. And so that's the main component. So the first thing we'll do is we'll start IV access, right? So standard stuff, we're gonna put in an 18 gauge angiocatheter here like we normally would. And then we're gonna use a cell denier technique where we're gonna take a wire, this 0 0.018 wire and we're going to introduce it into the angio cap itself and then we're just going to kind of wire this rewire this um angio cap itself right make sure you got a decent amount of length in there and then we're going to go from there and just like any cell denier technique what you basically do is you take the angio catheter off of this guy right here and what i'm going to do i'm going to pull this wire up a little bit and just kind of show you and then just like any other wiring technique, I'm going to put my dilator over my wire, just like so. And things you might notice right now as I back my wire out is that this dilator is actually very flimsy, right? And so there's a technique I use kind of prevent some of that, right? Because if you just push, you can actually bend the wire and the dilator pretty easily, right? So like any standard cellular technique, I'm gonna hold my wire at the back end over here. But the key thing to this here is before you even get into the vessel, uh, what you have to do is actually get through the skin. In order, in order to facilitate getting through the skin, I generally, I'll take my finger and what I'll do is I'll pinch between the angiocath and the dilator and keep them together. And then I'll advance, right? Once I get a couple of millimeters in, I know I'm pretty good past the skin and maybe into the vessel, I'll back out again and I'll grab up here and I'll do the same thing while I pinch and squeeze as I advance, holding my wire, making sure my wire doesn't go any further. Once I get there, I just advance the angiocath as far as it will go. After that, same old thing. I'm gonna take my wire and my dilator out and now I'm left with a 14 gauge IV catheter instead of my 18 gauge peripheral IV. And so why would you do this, right? Obviously you wanna increase the amount of fluid that you can give to a patient if you want to give blood and uh, fluid resuscitation. And going from an 18 gauge IV, I think you get 105 mLs per minute through that as far as flow rate. But when you put in a 14 gauge angiocatheter, you actually get 330 mLs as far as fluid per minute. So you significantly increase the amount of fluid that you can give or blood through that peripheral IV.